This is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and I'm going to do a like a mini update today, or junk sale, I guess, <laughs> uh, depending on how you look at it. But just some stuff that I've picked up lately, um, just to do a little bit of an update. Now the first item I got from eBay, really cheap. It's called uh, Metal Face. Um, kind of a really, really low budget slasher. Um, it's also known as Playing With Dolls. Uh, they've done three of them now, I believe. And I think they're going to do a fourth one. But this is a um, the only release we have here. Uh, Metal Face, but yeah. It was so cheap I couldn't pass it up. But yeah, that's Metal Face. The next... Uh, group are going to be from Goodwill, and I don't think I showed these, I, I can't remember, but um, this is a sealed John Wayne uh, double feature, because I do like westerns, um, it's the Undefeated and uh, North to Alaska, but still sealed, thought that was pretty cool, two bucks, couldn't pass it up, uh, another John Wayne flick I got, um, Island in the Sky, this is actually one I've never seen, so interested in checking that one out. And the last from Goodwill is Kundan. Now, I've never seen this. i um, not sure if I've ever stated this on any of my videos, but Martin Scorsese is my favorite director uh, overall. And this is one I haven't seen by him, so interested in checking it out. Looks interesting. Now, uh, the last group was all bought in a lot, and I couldn't pass up the price. It was, you know, fairly cheap. And uh, I'm going to give a shout-out right now to T-Money um, for introducing me to Cult Epics. Um, it's pretty cool. But also give a shout-out to Zombie Bob 1976 because he and I kind of have this thing about Shriek Show. Um, DVDs, but this is a triple pack, which includes the uh, Central Park Drifter, or also called Graveyard Shift, uh, Fiance of Dracula, and Two Orphan Vampires. It doesn't even look like these were ever even viewed. So. Uh, the next is a um, one of those multi-movie packs. Um, I couldn't pass it up. It, it just looked really cool. Like I said, it was part of all the same lot. Um, this has, um, let's see if I can read this. Good Against Evil, Don't Look in the Basement, uh, Blood Tide, Death Screams, which is kind of why I wanted it, and uh, Legacy of Blood. I have seen Legacy of Blood. It's not, it's not a great film, but it's okay. But that is really cool, this tin. So... And this is one of the reasons, other than that um, Shriek Show triple feature that I bought it, is Faceless. This is one I do not, uh, one of the Shriek Shows I did not own. So happy to have this in the collection. The rest of the films are kind of just, um, you know, other stuff that was in the lot. Uh, Witchcraft 13, Blood of the Chirp, Blood Blood of the Chosen. Yeah, that's it. Can't even read today. Uh, Monster Makers. Um, this was on the Hallmark Channel, but it has Linda Blair in it. And, and um, who else? Adam Baldwin, George Kennedy. I like George Kennedy. And uh, Linda Blair also. Adam Baldwin's okay too, but let's yeah, see if it's any good. And the last one um, from that lot is the culling and i don't remember if i saw this or not i think i might have but i don't remember it which is probably not a good sign but but anyway that is the uh, mini update wasn't much to show uh, the only other thing i got in i've actually showed before and that is the um the house that vanished and um, the eerie midnight uh, horror show I did show this before. 
still have yet to watch it. I'm going to very shortly, so maybe I'll do a review on it. But that's it, guys. Uh, just a little mini update, show you guys what I've picked up over the last uh, week or two. But until next time, peace.